finally, in the snow-covered waters of the Kentucky River, 30 days of searching ended. They were able to obtain the evidence, uh, carefully remove it from the river. What started as a missing man case and captivated most of central Kentucky ended as the gruesome murder of 32-year-old Alex Johnson. His body was found beaten and stuffed in a barrel by divers on the river bottom. Quickly after, two men were arrested. Timothy Ballard was charged with kidnapping and tampering with physical evidence. Mark Taylor was charged with the actual murder of Johnson. You told him that Mark was just going over there to pick up Alex. True. Ballard took a plea deal of 25 years in prison in return for taking the stand against Taylor. They were basically best friends, but they were also business partners. Their business was a lucrative marijuana and drug operation. Taylor was found guilty of the murder, sentenced to 45 years in prison. But what if the state got it wrong? Hey, Mr. Taylor, how are you? Hey. Miranda Combs. What if this man is serving time for a murder? He didn't commit. Did you kill Alex Johnson? No. No. I should have stopped it though. Man, it's hard to talk about. Mark uh, Taylor is he, inmate 285372 at the East Kentucky happened, Corrections so Complex. He asked to see us to explain what he believes was a closed murder case before it began. I mean, I had, I had blood on my lips and my hands and I had what do you do? What do you do? Well, you call police at that point? <laughs> you just saw, I'm 180 pounds at the time, I, I just saw this 400 pound man beat the shit out of my friend with a baton, who I couldn't save in Were my you car. saying to Tim the whole time, why? Why are you doing, stop? Frankly, it wasn't even about Tim, it was, can I save Alex? His version veers from the states as soon as he and Alex got into the car that December night. Did you have any part in disposing of Alex Johnson's body? No. I was not with him when he dumped it, when he dumped the, I didn't know where he dumped it, I had no idea. What are you guilty of? Disposing of the car. Tampering with physical evidence. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not who you make me out to be. I'm not. I'm not who you make me out to be. I was put in a really bad situation. That, a lot of my own doing. And now, what if those very words used to seal Taylor's fate on the stand in 2016? Mr. Taylor talked about killing Mr. Johnson. Were lies. According to these affidavits, including one signed by Timothy Ballard, all tell a different story than the prosecution. Ballard starts, I, Timothy Ballard, the affiant herein, hereby states under the penalty of perjury that Robert Taylor is not the person who killed Alex Johnson, nor did he participate in his kidnapping. It goes on to say, I struck Johnson in the head with a broken baton that I carried around a few times until he stopped moving. I cannot live my life knowing that I am the reason an innocent man is in prison. I did not intend to cause Johnson's death. I swear this is the true and correct statement of the actual occurrences of that night. What did you think when you read that? I, I don't, uh, uh, I had goosebumps, my hair stand up, you know, on my arms. I, I called mean, everybody I knew. Do you immediately think I'm, I'm, a, I'm off the hook here? Yes, but in, in the legal research that I know, that's not good enough. A lot of Taylor is his own counsel. He passed paralegal training yes, in prison. In all of this even, is his work. It's not even all of it. Um, then in March of this year, another affidavit, this one from Ballard's girlfriend, Amy Roberts, that said she had lied to police about Taylor's involvement in the murder because Tim told her to. In May, another sworn statement from a man who was in jail with Ballard. He says Ballard told him he killed the guy with the baton and that he just pissed him off. Right now you're supposed to be in here until? I believe 2064. What's that feel like? Uh, I don't know. We'll see after this appeal. You hopeful? Very. Regardless of the outcome, there is only one victim, a man who screamed for help as he was killed and tossed like trash into a river. Only Alex Johnson could tell us what happened. But as for now, Mark Taylor is left to wonder if the truth really does set you free.